Breach of trust Breach of trust N. 1. Any act which is in violation of the duties of a trustee or of the terms of a trust. Such a breach need not be intentional or with malice but can be due to negligence. 2. Breaking a promise or confidence. Breach of trust in legal contexts refers to breaking the rules of a trust or a person taking advantage of property given to them for a period of time. Trusts have multiple explicit delineations of property and rules which a trustee must follow, and a breach of trust occurs where the trustee or someone else breaks these rules. Beneficiaries may be able to get monetary damages or equitable remedy for breaches of trust. Breach of trust can also refer to when an owner allows someone to borrow or periodically control their property and that person steals or inappropriately uses the property. For example, a breach of trust would occur if you paid a valet to park your vehicle and the valet drove your vehicle around the city. If you are presumed to be the trustee over the property and you do not carry out your fiduciary duties, as trustee, you are in breach of trust. In God we trust what if you were using the property of the U.S. government? And you claimed it as your own? Would that not be a breach of trust? You are not your state-issued identification. You are not a person. Do not claim that commercial fictional entity as yourself. If you do, you are presumed to be trustee over state property, and as trustee, you are liable for all corporate policy and can be held accountable for it. Remove the presumption that you are the property of the state. Say that you do not wish to act in fraud and that the legal fiction that they are looking for belongs to the United States. Give it back. And you will be protected, even if you don't do it right. You only have to make a good faith effort. Abuse of power or failure to carry out the general and fiduciary duties of a trustee. Trustees are personally liable for any loss to the trust caused directly or indirectly by the breach and must hand over any profit made from the breach. Breach of Trust Black's Law Dictionary, 8th ed. 2004, page 566 Breach of Trust. A trustee's violation of either the trust's terms or the trustee's general fiduciary obligations, the violation of a duty that equity imposes on a trustee, whether the violation was willful, fraudulent, negligent or inadvertent. A breach of trust subjects the trustee to removal and creates personal liability. Breach of Trust Bouvier's 1856 Dictionary The willful misappropriation, by a trustee, of a thing which had been lawfully delivered to him in confidence. 2. The distinction between larceny and a breach of trust is to be found chiefly in the terms or way in which the thing was taken originally into the party's possession. And the rule seems to be that whenever the article is obtained upon a fair contract, not for a mere temporary purpose, or by one who is in the employment of the deliverer, then the subsequent misappropriation is to be considered as an act of breach of trust. This rule is, however, subject to many nice distinctions. 15 S and R. 93, 97. It has been adjudged that when the owner of goods parts with the possession for a particular purpose, and the person who receives them avowedly for that purpose, have at the time a fraudulent intention to make use of the possession as the means of converting the goods to his own use and does so convert them, it is larceny, but if the owner part with the property, although fraudulent means have been used to obtain it, the act of conversion is not larceny. I.D. Alice. Prink. C. 12. Page 354. 3. In the yearbook, 21H, 7. 14. The distinction is thus stated, Piggott. If I deliver a jewel or money to my servant to keep, and he flees or goes from me with the jewel, is it a felony? Cutler said, Yes, for so long as he is with me or in my house, that which I have delivered to him is a judge to be in my possession, as my butler, who has my plate in keeping, if he flees with it, it is a felony. Same law, if he who keeps my horse goes away with him, the reason is, they are always in my possession. But if I deliver a horse to my servant to ride to market or the fair and he flees with him, it is no felony, for he comes lawfully to the possession of the horse by delivery. And so it is, if I give him a jewel to carry to London, or to pay one, or to buy a thing, and he flees with it, it is not felony, for it is out of my possession, and he comes lawfully to it.
pig it. It can well be, for the master in these cases has an action against him, viz. detenue, or account. See this point fully discussed in Stamp. P. C. Lib. 1, Larceny, C. 15, page 25. Also, 13 ed. 4. F. O. 9, 52-H, 3. 7, 21-H, 7. 15. To learn more about this information contact us at glgse7en at gmail free yourself today. We're excited to provide you with access to the most up-to-date technology and research that have successfully helped numerous individuals in the past. We're confident that they can do the same for you. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or concerns. We highly recommend reviewing our information packet, which contains cutting-edge and proven knowledge. We believe that access to this information is important for everyone, and we encourage you to share it with your friends and family.